Hi everyone, Cal here. Now, a lot has changed in San Francisco since the oil shortage began. Grocery stores, for example, are being affected by higher shipping costs for goods, and in some cases, products are disappearing from the shelves altogether. So we're going to go out today and see how grocery shopping has changed, but we're going to try something different today. Today I'm leaving the car at home. That's right. I'm going to see how public transportation has adapted to the current oil crisis. So my shopping list is pretty basic. I'm looking for milk, oranges, uh, bread, paper towels, and chicken. So look at this, it's like two in the afternoon and this train is full. It's in rush hour. This is normal. So we're here in a major grocery store. We're going to see if we can find any of those items on my list. Milk, um, oranges, chicken, paper towels, and bread. Let's see what we got. It's almost completely empty. As you can see, all the frozen foods are here as per usual. But if you want to get some fresh meat, I think your choices are going to be a little bit more limited. We're going to have to go somewhere else for the chicken. We weren't able to find any milk or oranges or chicken. So we're going to have to go somewhere else and see if we can find some of those items for our shopping list. Let's get in line. If you're riding public transit these days, there's not a lot of room to be squeamish about close personal contact with strangers. There's no real room for personal bubbles these days. We've heard a rumor that there's oranges in Berkeley, so we're going to go check it out and see what we can find. This is a small local market here in Berkeley. We're here on a tip that there might be some oranges in stocks. So we're going to go inside and see what we can find. Let's go check it out. So how long have you been managing here? Uh, I started working here as a kid in 89. We've been uh, run and uh, operated by one family since uh, 1922. Where do you get most of your produce from? Well, most of my, our produce historically um, has come from more a local level than, uh, than a national level just because uh, here in California we have the opportunity to do that. Um, under the recent uh, situation with the oil shortage and, and our energy crisis, it's, we've really had to pull more and more from uh, local purveyors and uh, independent people. Um, Suppliers are less willing to uh, spend the uh, gas miles, um, less willing to uh, do processing, less, less willing to, to spend the extra money because the price of oil has gone so high. So we're working within a much smaller radius. So we were able to get bread and paper towels at the major grocery store in here. We got some uh, milk and chicken as well. We're still looking for oranges. Four down, one to go. So I'm here with Kurt and Jody, who I just met. and. Uh, you guys are about to go shopping here. I'm just curious how your life has changed a little bit due to the oil shock. You know, when you go shopping for food or vegetables or just basic necessities. Like meats and, and, and local produces, we really have to, you know, we can come here, but some of the bigger products are just not here anymore. What about for the dog? Dog food is really hard to come by now. It's really hard to find it. So we've been looking for oranges. We've been to like a few places. Do you guys, have you guys seen any around? Because we haven't been able to find any anywhere. The only place we found good oranges is at the farmer's market. Farmer's market? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's we'll check that out. Small farmers today still have really high business costs, but their overhead is still far less than some of the major grocery stores who rely on the shipping industry to move their product. You're actually more likely to find fresh produce, fresh vegetables here once or twice a week than you would in a major grocery store. Let's see if we can go find some oranges. So we finally found some oranges. I'm gonna go pick some up. All right. There you go. 
Well, we found everything on our list. It took a lot longer than it used to, and it was a lot more expensive. Times have changed, and from the looks of things, it seems like they're going to keep changing. I'll keep you posted. I'm Cal, and I'll be back.